guys, this is Tamika Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, I do so appreciate you sticking around. I am so excited. Every time I look at my subbies, they are continuing to climb. So I just thank you guys so very much. I appreciate you guys, you know, wanting to hear what I have to say, you know, video after video. I'm just so very grateful for the support. I just... I just thank you. <laughs> thank you so very much. On my channel, I love to discuss anything fashion, beauty, or lifestyle related. I absolutely love handbags. I love Louis Vuitton. I've been purchasing from the brand for several years. So I do do a lot of handbag videos in addition to, you know, other things. Um, just really whatever comes to mind, I'll record it. If those are things that interest you, please hit that little subscribe button down below. Also, while you're at it, hit that bell notification so that you are aware every time I upload a video, whether it be a handbag, a video of me talking about my traveling experiences, a video of perfume, just whatever it is, just please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you um, continue to join me. So in today's video, I'm going to continue my series of handbags I haven't used at all that are in my collection. Um, I've said it before in a few videos and I'll tag a few um, throughout this video, but I am dedicated this year to um, spending less and using more of what I have in my collection. Um, when I look at my handbags, I'm just like, gosh, you haven't used that yet or you haven't used that yet. Not that I don't like the handbags. I obviously loved them to purchase them. I just, I hadn't found the right opportunity to carry it. Um, I think in my head, I put too much thought into, oh, this would be, you know, a good occasion to wear this bag or this would be a good occasion to pair this bag with this outfit. But this year, I'm just like, wear the bags, Tamika. It's not that serious. So that's what I plan on doing. So as I'm pulling out these bags, I would love to bring you guys along so that you can also see these bags that I have yet to use that I will be starting to use this year. So in today's video, we are going to discuss a bag I purchased from the Wild at Heart collection. Wild of Heart was released back in 2021 and there were multiple handbag styles released as part of that collection. There were Speedies, Neverfulls, On The Go, there was um, a Pochette Matisse, um, there were multi pochettes. I mean, there were several different styles released as part of that collection. And when I saw the pictures, I just knew I absolutely had to purchase, you know, something. And there was one bag in particular that caught my eye. The bag actually came in two different colors and I went back and forth with myself on what color I actually wanted to buy. At one point I considered buying both, but I felt that was a bit wasteful. So I was like, nope, you need to pick one and stick to it. And that bag that I chose from that collection was the um, Speedy B25 in um, caramel. Now this particular bag, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it is so, so beautiful. It is in Jumbo on front leather and it does not have feet but it's uh, on the sides, it's like this um, animal pattern detail. And then it has like these little uh, LVs. And I just thought that was the cutest little touch. The hardware is all gold, if you can see that. And the zipper on this Speedy um, B25 was the extended zipper. So most Speedies, the zipper goes from here to here. But in this particular collection, it did have the extended zipper, which most people are a fan of because it allows you easier access to get in and out of the handbag. And I personally, I love that as well. But this color just, oh my God, it, it sold me. I was like, that is so absolutely beautiful. Now this bag did also come in black on front leather, still the same um, jumbo print and I'll insert a photo of it. Very similar, it's just that where it's caramel right here, it was black. That was beautiful too. I, I honestly thought about it, but I just thought that um, the caramel was something that I did not have at all in my collection and I didn't have anything similar to it. So I thought it would be a perfect addition. The handles were also extremely beautiful. I love the detail 
of the handles. And then they have like this caramel leather at the top. I just thought the entire bag, just the design of the bag was very beautiful, um, very different. I just thought it was one of those things that it was worth spending the money to get this limited edition bag. Now, I've seen these um, on the resale market and they are going for a pretty penny. So I'm extremely grateful that I purchased when I did because there is no way I would have purchased, um, you know, with the prices now on uh, the resale market. It's just absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. I, I keep this bag stuff when I have it uh, stored, but taking out the stuffing, the inside of the bag, is microfiber and it's the same cognac color. This particular bag was made in France. I know some people always wonder where the bags are made, but this one was made in France. It does have a inside zipper. And then other than that, it's just one, you know, open space. This particular bag, because it's a speedy, it did come with a lock and key set in gold as well. And I'll just show you that. I haven't used this, so it's still wrapped up, of course, but I um, I don't know. I really don't put the lock and key on too often, but I don't know. I might. Most people attach it to one of the zippers, but the lock just says uh, Louis Vuitton Paris on one side, and then on the other side, it just says LV, and then it does have, you know, two keys. So, um... I might insert a photo of what it looks like with the lock, actually, just so you guys can see. And then, um, other than the lock and key, the bag did come with a detachable and adjustable strap. And it's a black strap, not a guitar strap, <laughs> but it was a black strap, of course, gold hardware. It just says Louis Vuitton on it. And then, um, as I said, it's adjustable. So this bag was definitely uh, tall girl friendly. I am 5'8", so when I'm wearing a bag crossbody, I do like it to hit at a certain um, spot. So with this bag, I definitely could easy wear, easily wear it crossbody and it would sit exactly how I prefer um, my bags to sit when I wear them crossbody. So this is the bag with the strap attached and I, I've kept the strap. Usually when I store my bags, I keep the strap of the bag inside of the particular handbag just to make it easier, you know, to keep up with. But, um, so the strap is a little um, bent because I had it rolled up, but that would come out no problem. Um, but yeah, this is a beauty. Originally when I bought it, I kept saying, oh, I need to wait till the winter or the, the fall to wear the bag. And I it came fall and I kept saying, oh, I got to get, you know, a certain outfit to wear with it. And then one day I was going to wear it and it was a really bad storm. So I didn't want to take it out. And then I was like, oh, I'll just wait to the winter to wear it. Never got around to wearing it. We went into 20, 2022 never wore it still and now here we are in 2023 so I definitely will wear this bag you know at some point I honestly feel as if um I thought it originally I thought it was a fall bag because you know it's like a caramel color but honestly I could care less you know what others think at this point in my life um I'm just gonna do what I want to do and if I want to wear this bag you know on a date night in the spring that's just what I'm going to do. Um, I feel like, you know, you can create your own style and you don't necessarily always have to conform with what society says, you know, a particular style needs to be. So that's one thing I'm very adamant about, um, especially this year. I just going to do what I want to do. <laughs> so, um, let me know what you guys think. I know that this collection was extremely popular and the black, like I said, was absolutely stunning. So just wondering if you have or if you purchased anything from this collection and if you did, what did you get? Would love to uh, hear your comments down below. Also, what do you guys think about the Speedy? Out of all the things that were offered in that particular collection, are you a Speedy person? Um, I am 
I'm, I'm not a big speedy fan, but I wanted this particular bag, but there's other styles from Louis Vuitton that I do like more than, you know, the speedy. So just curious what you guys like as well. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll put my handle up on the screen and I would love to, like I said, just continue this chat down below. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and until next time, be safe.